had no clue what happened there, but apparently something happened and caused him to bring an exit out. I don't know. Confused. Very much confused. So continue and see where it leaves us off at. So I'm pretty sure it wasn't supposed to end like that. Yeah, okay, so we're continuing from here. Cool. Wait! Turn around! They're coming! We have to find another way out! No, I can't skip it. Oh, this Seriously. is bullshit! You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Well, Into the car! Work right now, apparently. <laughs> Then, you know, turning on the lights of the pool was definitely a great idea. <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. Wow, so awesome. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. Damn, she woke up pretty fucking quick there. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Get Warren. Good see you blow rap while last night. I must lie. By the way, the drive in is actually five dollars a month. Buy the tickets now. I'll have an extra one in case you change your mind. Just go. Supplies are in the cinema. I don't think I'll be washing today. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Wow, I 
remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Sidewalk and pigeons in my window The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Morning looks like shit. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. So many men stronger than me have thrown their backs out. At least we haven't been identified yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Just keep going to the bathroom. I will say you'll be right back. It takes one to know I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Ray. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size, but not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna do it. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl on girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. No, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Get dressed. I'm gonna leave it that way. I don't really care. Stupid theater making noises. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? You can wake and make first, really? Oh, shit. What the hell? Side by Okay. Yeah, if you hear the action noise in the background, I apologize. I was trying to check something on my computer, but I can't check it. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were. Uh oh, just stop for a second. Kids here. Let her die. Like, 
probably want to bury dad tell me this is this is Kate's dad or, or person. You let our son, you let our child What's die. ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Oh, the irony. Toothbrushing. No, it's my toothbrush. Shower. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Toothbrush, faucet, use faucet, clean. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine and hiding. There we go, yes. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Why blue? Why not a good color? There you go, Salty. It's not really her style. Hello! How in the hell did you get back in here? No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. You know what? You better think you're pretty. It's at the house now, apparently. I can go to the room. No, it's locked. I'm guessing. Or probably should do it anyway. Going downstairs now. Why well, I have to have a loading screen to go downstairs is beyond me. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Eggs and milk. Easy enough, right? I love that they still have the same refrigerator. And the refrigerator. Wait, where am I supposed to get the eggs and the milk if it's not in the freaking refrigerator? Why is the milk out here? Computer now for the mother's milk. Why would eggs be in a fucking drawer? You'll be surprised. Ow! Are there eggs in the cereal? Wowzer. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Oh, jeez. Can you help me get this bird out of here? Okay. Uh, I guess you just open this back door. We're just gonna slide it open. Bird, be free. Don't close the damn thing! The eggs outside. Are the eggs outside? Oh my god! Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. There's no time for sitting and swinging. And more birds. I wonder how these birds died. There are multiple birds here and no eggs. This is getting ridiculous. Oh, dead bird. 
poor thing. Yeah, poor bird. It's a class. Ask questions of the world. That was cool. Like, seriously, where the fuck are these eggs at? She needed eggs. Tell me where the fuck the eggs are. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Oh my god, just give me the eggs. Give me eggs. Eggs. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Are there eggs downstairs? Are there eggs upstairs? Oh no, she had groceries. She wouldn't do she wouldn't need grocery shopping. The eggs, the eggs right always here. come first, as Joyce used to say. <laughs> That's horrible. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? <laughs> God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. What? How about no? How about you give me a peanut butter? I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Eat the pancakes. Delicious. Must have more pancakes. Now you want some pancakes? No, I just want food. I cooked an amazing meal. What? 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 Mushroom? Look over what? what? It's a game of mushroom whatever. Yep. Seeing you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. 
This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Oh, Chloe, okay, it's please. It's right. too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. Messing with their hair. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one yeah. can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. That is worse than you could have ever seen my Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Nothing to see here. Anything else? How about this cover? This is where the camera was. Nothing in it. Besides, you know, the cameras around the house. Search. Naturally, I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Chloe can't get another gun now, unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Concealed handgun license at home. That's just horrible. You get a book. Here. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. David has been dragging his head around since 2001.
such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay. Family related. Stepdad. Let's go stepdad. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Lighthouse. Oh, Rachel to Lighthouse? That doesn't sound suspicious at all. Holy stepdad followed Rachel to the White House, apparently. And that's the last thing he put. So that kind of seems suspicious. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Well, I guess he's gonna be stalking you next. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. Mm. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. He's gonna notice her hair. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? <laughs> no, it's a big, I mean, I mean, obviously I'm gonna pick Chloe's side on this. I mean, because David doesn't have a leg to stand on. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Uh, uh, 
Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Ooh. Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. You stupid bitch. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. No, we had a fucking coming. But... Yeah, no, fuck that. I ain't helping his ass. He had it coming. So, yeah. Yeah. You stupid bitch. Dumb spying military bitch. Two plus two not knowing what the fuck it is. Bit I should probably stop now. But seriously though, I gotta get ready for work. So unfortunately I gotta cut this off here. It's like only twenty minutes long. But yeah, I gotta get ready for work now. I thought you had to go in.